What is going on everybody? This is TGA and in today's video we visit Bulford Camp in the Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire. It was established in 1897. The site continues in use as a large British army base. The camp is close to the village of Bulford. The camp has a mixture of tents and huts in 1897. The section called Sling Camp was occupied by the soldiers of the New Zealand Expeditionary Force during the First World War. At the end of the war, the overcrowded camp was the site of the Battle of Bulford when New Zealand troops staged a brief mutiny. Later, New Zealanders awaiting demobilisation left their mark by creating the Bulford Kiwi, a large chalk figure on the hillside overlooking the camp. Permanent barracks were built during the inter interwar years. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is TGA and today we're in Wiltshire, uh, Salisbury Plain at uh, Bulford Camp. Been to Salisbury Plain once before to do Port and Down. If you haven't seen the Port and Down video check it out. So this building I believe is the Special Inve Investigative Branch, sort of uh, covert of the uh, Royal Military Police. Campion lines. You wouldn't even know, it doesn't even say Ministry of Defence on it. Parish clerk. Look at the fencing. It's got razor wire on top of it. And there's no uh, military police cars in there because this is their uh, special investigative branch, so they like you know, admin. People who go in the boardroom, put all the pins on the boards and stuff like that. Investigate military crimes. That's what these lot are. They're basically, you know, like COD, plain clothes and marked cars. This is the military equivalent of uh, COD, pretty much. And most of them are in plain clothes. They go out in unmarked vehicles, stuff like that. This is these guys. Special in investigative branch of the RMP, Royal Military Police. So we're going to carry on with our journey now anyway, so we're going to pause this recording and we'll be back with you very soon. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I had to be a bit cautious because there's little gills on there. I don't want to get them on video. But well, this is the Military Court Centre in Bulford. So this is where military personnel get tried. Court parking only. We haven't passed any barriers or anything. This is it. I've never seen a military court before. It's been a first for me. This is where people get military persons get court martialed in this place. Tobacco free working environment. The consumption of tobacco is not permitted on this site. Service personnel and civil servants who do not comply may be subject to disciplinary action. Yeah, military law. Contractors and visitors may be barred from entering the, the site again. So, yeah, military personnel uh, it could be classed as disobeying a direct order. If there's a sign that's telling a military person to do something and they're disobeying it, that could be classed as a breach of military law. It looks not like a nice building though. It's a lot nicer than all courts I've seen. Danger, guard dogs and armed patrols in operation. Yeah, that's it over there. That building. It's the military court centre. Looks really quiet. There's no cases on today by the looks of it. So let's carry on. I might want to bring up a bit of information about a military court, or about this one. Just so, uh, see if I can find the history on it. How long has there been a military court here? Court centre. Right. 
Oh, reject. Military courts of the United Kingdom. So yeah, court martials. Okay, the military courts of the UK are governed by the Armed Forces Act 2000. Let's get the sign in. Okay, the, the military courts of the United Kingdom are governed by the Armed Forces Act 2006. The system set up under the Act applies to all three armed forces, the Royal Navy, including the Royal Marines, the British Army and the Royal Air Force, and replaces the three parallel systems that were previously in existence. The military courts have jurisdiction over all members of the armed forces of the United Kingdom and civilians subject to service discipline. So yeah, uh, established a court-martial as a permanent standing court. Uh, they were con convened on an ad hoc basis before the, uh, the court marshals were. So they have uh, presided, it's broadly similar to the Crown Court of England and Wales, the court is presided over by a judge advocate and there is a board similar to a jury. Well, it be a jury of military persons. So yeah, that's a bit of uh, insight onto the military courts. I thought I'd come here and do a bit of history. Uh, and a bit of information on how this whole system works with military courts. Yeah, we've seen, first time I've ever seen a military court. Pretty impressive Bryce doesn't have one. Seems to be only the army facilities. I think there's two in the UK. There's one up in north, up north, which is Catrick. And then there's this building, which is Bulford. So it's Bulford and Catrick, and it seems to be the only two. But we're going to stop this recording again because we're going back through residential areas. I won't directly go and film areas where people live because that's not decent, is it really? So we're going to carry on with our little journey along uh, Bulford. Oh, let this guy go by. Nice lady, sorry. Hello, lady. Careful, you nearly came off your bike then. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Focus on your safety. Side. So where we are now is the public road. I'm going to stick to the public road. I was unsure with that estate because there was nothing to say. But where it said on the on the kids park there, it said Defence Infrastructure Organisation. Back in action, guys. So I thought we'd uh, carry on filming. So we're just coming around the corner now. So what we show you. Bulford's got a church over this side, St George's, and it's got Royal Mail. So there's Royal Mail, Bulford Camp. Never seen a Royal Mail site like this on a military camp. Bulford Barracks Delivery Office. That's weird. So there's the church. Got all the Yorks out back there. We mean to do this place for a while. And there's the church over there, look. It's a lorry. Shall we walk up through there? So this is Royal Mail. It's a post box. That's British Forces Broadcasting. Our dog section. It's another tank look. Wow. Still outside the camp, I believe. 
It's got a mod dodge dog section that went past. And so a house behind Royal Mill. Somebody lived there. HQ, uh, HQ Pro Coy RMP, 158 Pro Coy RMP. That's the Royal Military Police. We'll cross over by a. Uh... Here we are, Ice Hall Cavalry. Where the hell is all you? Kiwi Barracks, 3rd Signal Regiment, 1 Mercian, HQ 3 UK Division. And then we've got some. Uh, Awesome military vehicles over there as well. Look, might get a closer look. Let's just have a little walk down this way, see what's down this way. Okay. This is both for Canto, our Royal Military Police. That is our MP. Tanks down there, guys. We've got to have a look, closer look at those. Because we've seen a few tanks passing through now. It's quite busy with tanks. Yes, guys, just going to make sure I stick to the uh, public land. This is all visible on Google Street View. Oh, the army chap, sure. Oh, is that another tank? I've seen loads coming through. I think the army know what I'm doing is lawful now. It's their job to defend what? It's their job to defend my rights. Our rights. That includes their own rights. They don't, you don't join the army and lose your rights. You know? Although the army does put a restriction on your rights, which isn't fair. Yeah, there's not much over there, so we're going to have a look this way. Uh, still a public footpath. There's nothing to restrict this year. There's the buses as well. There's buses coming through. Oh, there's the Royal Military Police. There's the Military Police over there, look. It's a, this is a public footpath. Before the gates, isn't it? Just gonna have a look at those vehicles over there. <coughs> Contractors. There's the vehicles. Look at those! Awesome! Wow! Look at this though guys! This is Bullford Camp. Huge camp. It's starting to rain now, unfortunately. It's raining still guys, it's bloody raining. I don't like this, it came out of nowhere. I'm just going to do that. So this is the Royal Military Police. Oh my God, what, what a time. I'm just coming down here and it starts to rain. Yeah, here's the Military Police guys. These trees aren't going to provide me much, me much shelter. I must say. Let's go to Octavia's, are they? There they are, Royal Military Police. It's almost a full on audit of a military police station. Ah, shit, guys. Camera's getting wet. Oh, look at that one. There's a few down here. There they are, look. Military police vehicles.
Nice. Is that another? Oh, no way. Got another one. Guys, let's have a look, look quick look at the military police station. It is raining a little bit, it's enough to cope with. There's a few in there, a few military police cars in, this, in the police station. There we are, military police station 158 Provo Company, Provost, Provost Company, 158 Provost Company. Military police station. Look at that. Never seen anywhere like this before. Military police station. Wow. Look at that. Police parking only. Never seen a military police station before, guys. Look at that. There's another building of the RMP over there as well, I believe. I think this is mostly RMP. Stop it. No. Stop it. No. I'm in a public place. You are not in a public place. You are not allowed to uh, video. Um, uh, how do you call it? Don't tell me to stop it. That's very rude, isn't it? Say, how are you, sir? How are you doing? You know, be polite what about it. Identify yourself? I don't need to, sir. Who are you? I don't need to. I don't need to. Under what authority are you asking me that? And you're Royal Military Police. I don't need to tell you who I am. Can you, st you stand there and wait for me? I'm no, I don't need to stand here. I don't, I'm not detained, I don't need to stay here, mate. I won't be far, though. I'm gonna get some more shots of your cars. Who do you think he bloody is? Royal Military Police. Bloody hell do you think he is? It's quite an interesting police station. It's a big camera on it, there's the RMP's flag. There's a red cap up there as well. Let's see what this guy's doing. So he said to wait for him. If I'm in public, I can film what I like. Simple as. Not security patrol. Hello? All right. Yeah, not too bad, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. What are you doing here? Just videoing, making a, making a little story about what the base. Story? No, just making a story. Where are you from? What's, what's that got to do with anything? Say again? What's that got to do with anything? Well, but you're bidding here? Yeah, so you everywhere. Can't, so you can't do bidding in the, in the You can video camp. anything from public. Say again? You can video anything yeah, from public. Yeah, but you can't you can video in the, in the inside. You can, you can if you're here. stood in a public place. Eh? If you're stood in a public place, you can video anything that your eyes can see. What, what, what why are you you're doing a video? You're blocking the van from getting through. Say again? The van needs to get through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. Okay. Yeah, what are you doing? Are you doing video? Just for matters of public interest. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? What's that got to do with anything? Some sort of ID. Why? Yeah. Why? You just uh, I need to. No, you don't. You don't need to see anything. Yeah, but you can't. You can video, and then can I see what? You, can I see what you video? No, no, because I'm currently videoing. That's why. Second. Because I'm currently videoing now, so I'm not going to stop it. But you, you can't video here anyway. Yes, I can. 
No, you can't. Yes, you can. You can video anything from public. But you, yeah, but you can't video. It, no. In, so it's what? visible from a public place, uh -huh. so you can video anything that is visible from a public place. Are you sure? Okay, yes. I can, yes. can I video you as well then? Yeah. Can take a picture. Crack on, do what you want, you're in a public place. Wait, where do you, you live locally? What's that got to do with you? Say again? What do you want to know what? No, I'm just asking. No, that's, because if this, this that's is personal. a military, if, even if it's a, 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 even this is a public area, this is dominated by a, a, the, the military base, you know? So you can't video in, in this place, I think. You yes, know? from inside. I'm outside. Yeah? I'm outside so I can video anything I can see from public. It's my Article 10 right to do this. Okay, this way. Okay, no worries. All right. Do me a favor, mate. Stay safe. Hey? Stay safe. Say again? Stay safe. Stay, stay safe. Take care of yourself. There he is. I don't know why the RMP called this guy up. That, that military policeman was very rude. So Ari, the RAF police are a lot more friendly than these guys. Actually, this guy was fine. Security man, he's a lot more friendly than the police. So. So why did a military policeman call the Army Security Patrol? I don't know. Carry on videoing. I guess Royal Military Police look. Must have got another car there, look. Going that way. Shouldn't have their windows open if they don't like it. Military police car. Huh. Very aggressive, the RMP were there. That guy who came out from the Royal Military Police, he was, he was very aggressive. Huh? Come out. No way. Military police come out. RMP. Yeah, they've got the door open the front. Oh, they closed the gate, that's what they've done, isn't it? Oh, no, they haven't. Gate's still wide open. So what are these guys doing? So why would the police get the security patrol? Doesn't make sense, does it? Huh. Right, we're going to carry on, guys. Very aggro. Very aggro that military policeman was. Get some of their cars. Oh, here they are.
Hello. How are you doing? Sorry? Oh, you're from Wiltshire Police, are you? I am, yes. Uh, could, you, could you identify yourself, please? Yes, I'm PCC 9884. I'm from Wiltshire Police. I work in Amesbury Station, which is obviously just down the road. No worries. Is there a particular reason you're filming the, the military police? Are you, so you going to let me know that your body one camera was recording? I mean, it beats quite loudly. Yeah, yeah you do need to inform members of the public, section 3.5. Point five of the, of the police goes well, across the park. This is a public space, so obviously. But it is in your policy place. to let them into the public. It's on now. We're quite aware. Could you ask, ask what you're doing? Just filming. Just taking photos, filming. Why? Because I want to. I mean, it's fair enough. I'm fairly sure that the army are going to put anything that they don't want you to see right by the fence. But exactly. I hope you understand that people are going to be a little bit suspicious if you are filming and taking pictures of military things and going right up to the gate and trying to see inside. Well, if, if they don't want people to see inside, they should put like a well, that's exactly fence what I or just something said. like I'm, that. I'm, so. Like I just said, I'm yeah, confident yeah, I that both that. the military so. police and the military camps in general are going to put anything sensitive right mm. in front of the gateway for very easily to see it. But yeah. you are going to arouse suspicion. I hope you understand that. Yeah, I understand that. And I thought they'd be more clued up, the military police, because he came out and he was like, you're not allowed to record at all. He's not like, you're not allowed to take your photos. So he doesn't understand what my rights are in a public place. Again, like I said... So I think they should be educated. Filming in a public place is, as a general rule, pretty legal, as long as you're not looking into private property. It's military property, which doesn't quite count. What's your name? I'm not going to give any names or details now. No. Are you part of a particular group? Not really, no. No, no just myself. Just yourself for... Like, what do you do? Just content for matters of public interest. For matters of public interest. So is there like a public group that you... Perhaps. Perhaps. A YouTube channel? Maybe. Maybe. You're not the chap who came to Amesbury Station. Can you, can you just lift your hat off? I just want to see if you're bold. Because the guy who came to the station no, was bold. No, it's not me. <laughs> No, not you. No. Got a full head of hair. I've got a. Uh, uh, you see some. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's cold. We're in. Nice to wear this. I mean. I mean, like I said, I'm not really worried about what you're going to see. It's just. You're very liable to be shattered up by the military. Yeah, that's the a, that's a risk I'm willing, to, I'm willing to take, to be honest. So. But on a very personal note here, for what game? For, just for matters of public interest. Is, is, it, um, is the public interested? Yeah, they're interested in this kind of thing. The kind of thing being... Well, I'm a member of the public, so if I'm, yeah. where I'm saying public interest, it could be something I'm interested in. So. the public, I suppose. Exactly. But, I mean, alright. You might not be interested in this sort of thing, but I am. So. I mean, I work with them all the time. They're generally pretty responsible, and we rely on them for matters with the military. They mm. generally have more jurisdiction than we do yeah. when dealing with military personnel, but, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Where, do you, are you from, are you local, or have you come from out of county? Not really, I'm not. Sorry, saying Not really, I, I mean, that's not really relevant anyway, is it? So. Well, I'm just curious as to how far you've come, just for the sake of filming some camps. It's what I find interesting. It might not be, as I said, it might not yeah, be your forte, it, it, but... So, so is it, are, are you like a military enthusiast? No, no criticism. Also, I mean, I'm interested in all thoughts. And so is it like government, or is it military, or...? Everything, like everything like that, yeah. Okay. Is it, do you go to the air bases, or just, just yeah, the army? Some, some. Some of the air bases have been to Boston? No, no. Mm -hmm. I know that's again, just down the road, but... Yeah, I mean, again, you're not going to see... Bryce that. Norton. Hmm? Sorry? Bryce, Bryce Norton. Oh, Bryce Norton. Bryce oh, okay. Norton, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, I was about to say, you can't really... I don't know if you can see much more from where the Bryce Norton is. I haven't been for years. I don't know why they called you anyway, to be honest. They didn't call me, um, chap up the road. But, well, like I said, someone saw you and they thought, that's bloody odd. And so, it was just a KBR, obviously. Oh yeah, the right. contractors, yeah. And so they thought, that's really bloody odd. So they thought they'd let me know. Fair enough. Um, yeah, we've had people try and get through wires and things before, so it's worth notifying that people are going to find it weird. Yeah, I, I appreciate that, but point is, if if I was doing something untoward, if I captured that on a camera, that then I'd have evidence against myself then, wouldn't I? Well, so. well yeah, but 
you seem like a smart man, so I'm sure you'd delete that footage. Yeah, you never know. You never know. But yeah, you know, you're, you're fair, fair play. I mean, people have been more silly than that before, but if you're clued up enough, then I'm sure that you would do. And there was a guy. So there was a guy who posted like. something on what was it? Uh, posted something on Instagram or Facebook. He's recording, so you're not allowed to use your phone whilst driving anyway. He was driving his car, recording on his mobile phone, and he was going like 200 mile an hour down yeah, to a residential again, area. You're absolutely right. People do dob, them in, dob themselves in all the time. But and then, obviously, police saw that. They're like, right, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's caught himself there, haven't he? <laughs> so, it, would, it wouldn't be the first time. I'm sure it wouldn't be the last. Oh, no. There's some, there's some people who are not exactly the cleverest out there. This is true. So. But... Some would argue that what you're doing isn't the cleverest, but I don't think at this time it's illegal. If you're challenged, exactly. these people like court you as you have to be, but you know, if you expect to be challenged. Yeah, of I'm course. Sure you do. I mean, I've, I've already been challenged by the RMP, so and he, he, he was just really shouty that guy. So it's military, but you're yeah. like I said. You're, you're around the military camps, especially. Then again, I had a lot, lot more. I had a lot better engagement with the RAF than this, so get used to a lot of shouting. Yeah, <laughs> true. true. All right, well, you crack on. I can't say that you won't be challenged. I can't say you won't be shouted at again. And I can't say I blame them. But if you're aware of that, then... Yes, I mean, yeah. I welcome any engagement anyway. So. Yeah, fair enough. Well, you've been polite at least. So you have a nice day. And yourself. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. The back stage, don't take it. Hmm? The back stage, don't take it. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never know though, do you? You never know though, do you? Exactly. Get a shot of your car. Uh, let's get a shot from the distance. Watch your police. There we are. Get some more photos, guys. You don't have DF, uh, DFRS, don't you? Or MDP. MDP is porting down. So, I, yeah, but Amesbury's, Amesbury's a bit closer than that. That's why they're called the local force rather than MDP. Stopping. Just like military vehicles. Sorry? I am, yeah, I'm in a public place. I'm in a public place. I think you might want to educate yourself on photography laws. I'm just taking photos of military vehicles. What's wrong with that? Hmm? Sorry? What's he after? Sorry mate, can I help? Can I help you? Can I help you? Right. Put that away. Can I help you mate? What's up? Yeah, just to the military vehicles and stuff, yeah. Just to the military vehicles and stuff, if I find it interesting. Who are you? Member of the public. What number of the public? What do you mean? Are you taking pictures in camp? Not in the camp, no. What, what vehicles are you taking pictures in? Just any military vehicle. I was right. getting some of the tanks coming out and stuff. Can I see any IDs you got? No. Why should I show you ID? I just want to know because you, I've been heard that you've been taking pictures there. Yeah, I was getting some of the military vehicles. Why are you taking pictures of military vehicles? Because I want to. Because eh? I want to, I find it interesting. Is it? Yeah. Can I see any of IDs? No. Why do you want to see ID? I just want to know who are you taking pictures of the... That's too bad. Yeah. That's too bad, isn't it? That's again? That's too bad. You've got no right to demand my ID. What's it? You've got no right to ask for my ID. I'm a member of the public doing something lawful. You're a member of what? I'm a member of the public doing a lawful activity. Unlawful? A lawful. 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 
Number of public lawful. So what I'm doing is lawful. It's, a, it's protected under Article 10 of the Human Rights Act, public photography. Have you got any ID? Sir? I don't need to show. I don't need to show ID for a, for a lawful activity. You didn't take pictures in camp, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm in a public place. I haven't. Not once I've, have I stepped into camp or anything like that. Just I've taking in, pictures of the military vehicles. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any names you have got? Uh, just just call me TGA. TGA. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, mate. Take care. All right, guys. I think that's a good place to end it. Uh, that's been Bulford Camp. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.